I start. What's up, guys? So, we're into week two of having fish into the new pond and we have started the nitrogen cycle so as of yesterday i started finally getting some nitrite it's been showing a little bit of ammonia so like i said we've just been monitoring checking the water a couple times a day we're finally starting to cycle fish are doing good only feeding them once a day cut it down from uh six times a day and as I had mentioned in my video about new pond syndrome, it seems like there's just nothing a guy can do because I knew I was building a pond this year. So I had a bag of media, a sizable bag of media in that filter maturing since like right away this spring. So I figured when I got this all done, got it going, got it set up, I could put that media into my second barrel barrel there my media barrel and i would eliminate having to go through the cycle now the only thing i can think of is that when i put it in the barrel there wasn't enough ammonia in the system yet to keep it alive and it died off that is my guess or it did work and it has kept my spikes from getting so bad because the highest my ammonia has gotten has been barely two parts per million. So not quite that dark of a green, but darker than one part per million. So it may have worked. It may have helped a little bit. Not sure. Also, like I said in the other video, I was going to get a different pump. Well, I did. I got the, uh, is it the Jabo, I think? No, Anjon. The Anjon Commando pump. It's adjustable from 1,500 to 3,000 gallons per hour. And so far, I really like it. Um, I've got my flow into my last barrel, probably sitting at about 2,000 gallons per hour, which is good. It's where I want it. Seems like it's coming into the front barrel at about 3,000, 3,200. So everything's working good back there. The next big plan for that is to build the filter house. So the only other things I've done is I've added the, it's kind of hard to tell, huh? can't see, added the aeration, an eight inch diffuser ring, and uh, got the plumbing wired back. And it comes up right over here under this flap. It's PVC and then there's the air tube that goes to it. So again, all this is kind of clustered up. And once we start putting in the back wall, which again, I hope it's this fall that I get it done. I do have the two by fours and stuff, but who knows? Who knows? I mean, it's been raining every other day for, it seems like all summer. So over here, just doing a quick little water change. Fish are doing good. And since I took the bigger ones out of here, uh, a lot of the medium sized ones in this pond have been really growing. So like I said, everything's going good. We're gonna do a quick little 10% water change on this one here as soon as this one's done and again it works really slick all I do is pause my pump open the valve there on my first barrel on the sediment chamber and she empties out pretty quick and then uh, just close that valve and start filling her up with water like I said it works really slick I'm very happy with how that filter turned out turned out just like I planned which you know as anybody knows in the pond world that does not happen all the time. So, <laughs> all right, guys, just wanted to hop on quick and give you guys a quick update. Um, if there's anything you want to know about the new pond, put it in the comments. Um, I'll do a video on it. I'll break stuff down, get more into detail with it. If you, like I said, if there's something you want to know more about. But other than that, guys, that's all I got for this video. Keep on investing. Keep on improving. We'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.